Now this leads us into our first guest here, who is Bree Johnson, who mm -hmm. has a blog, and uh, your blog is called BreeJohnson.ca, mm -hmm. and it's all about photography. Right. And I was checking out your Instagram account, and it looks perfect. Oh, I, thank I, you. I, you made I really, I, I, I sat there and I looked at it, and and that's kind of where our question comes in today. Okay. Is that I sat there and I looked at it, and I was like, wow, she's perfect. Oh. Judging by her pictures, I'm not. but. But um, I think the thing I want people to know is when you look at people's Instagram accounts or on Pinterest, mm -hmm. that a lot of us and like the content that is on Pinterest is being sponsored by companies, right? So mm -hmm. everything out there, they are advertising mm -hmm. and they are paying bloggers and they are paying Instagrammers and people to promote their product and promote things. So we, we have a budget when we're taking pictures of like things that we're doing in our mm -hmm. house, right? Like we don't just go out and spend a thousand dollars on paint and everything to make this room wonderful like we're we're getting companies to help the lighting mm -hmm. yeah like we have we have a budget to work within and so I just want people to know that that's not a norm like of course you can't compare oranges and apples when when I have a lot more tools in front of me to help my pictures look the way that they do. But you brought some tools and some ideas for us today yeah, to help so with things our that you Instagram can do. <laughs> so um, there's three apps that I really like to use and I feel like if you get your lighting good first, mm -hmm. then a lot of it looks great after. Mm -hmm. So um, typically when I edit a picture, I don't just take the picture and put a filter on with the Instagram app and then post it. I always use like three and then post my picture. So I'll, I'll I'll make sure the exposure is right in an app called Snapseed. And then after I use Snapseed, I'll put it into Visco Cam, which is my absolute favorite. I love Visco. And there's a whole bunch of different filters that you can put on it. I only use about three that I try and make it look like it doesn't have a filter. I know that seems weird, but like, so it looks like a natural picture. So I'll use like the, like there's a clean and bright ones that I like to use and I'll use, and then after I put that in Visco, I'll snap that into a, an app called PicTap Go. And I love that one because it's able to keep my white it's really, really bright, and my color is really, really saturated. Um, so then, after like, um, and that's the like one here, strawberries. There's your yeah. your white. Yeah. And so then. it's able to keep the white. And notice how I didn't center the picture. Like, it's you need to have some like a negative space in your pictures because your eyes don't know where to focus. So if you can like crop it, don't be afraid to crop them and like leave stuff around the edges so your eyes can go right to that. But mm -hmm. Pick Top Go is my favorite for keeping the whites white and the brights really, really saturated. And maybe we'll get you to tweet out after the show those three resources that you okay. use so that yeah. uh, we can find them after the show. Okay. Uh, this one is of the white wall in your house that I was <laughs> right. asking you about before the show. Do you have a white wall? I do. I, and I use it just for posting pictures. Nice. Like mm -hmm. It's like my Instagram wall and my husband thinks I'm crazy. I'm like, don't touch my wall. Because like, I have a mirror on it usually and then I, I take the mirror down every day and it's heavy and like, I have to put the <laughs> mirror back up I'm like I should just leave it down but that's that wall changes and like that's my one wall I go to because my light is perfect I have a hmm. huge window right next to it I have a reflector and an umbrella set up so like that you're not gonna get that type of lighting without shadows without having something to make that light look streamlined mm -hmm. so know that like some a lot of times when people post these pictures to Instagram they've researched what their lighting's like and they have like things set up set up in their house like my stupid umbrellas to make the pictures look that way mm -hmm. like it's not something you could like just snapping won't yeah so don't don't compare yourself to that type of thing yeah some of the apps that we see as well too we think oh man I just I wish I could be just as good as someone like Bree someone professional but it doesn't take that much effort and that's what you're just or go take classes there's yeah. so many out there that you can yeah. learn mm -hmm. from like lots of people that mm -hmm. teach Instagram mm -hmm. courses or even just like basic photography ones. Are these your and toes? I was just going to yeah. say quickly, <laughs> how do you put a long day into a beauty shot? Because my long day would not look that pretty. <laughs> um, well, I think for, for one thing, this picture, it was after a dinner I'd gone to with Shutterfly. So I wanted to thank them for sponsoring things that they'd given me. So. And then, like I said, trying, like, of course, maybe I was tired and exhausted, but I'm like, oh, you can always take a picture of your feet, right? Or in cute shoes. And, but if, and it, it's hard to take indoor shots because most of the time you're what's in called tungsten lighting. And so it's really yellow and it's really gross. And so most of the time when I take like an indoor shot, I want to make sure there's negative space. I want a lot of white. And then I will always make sure I cool it way, way, way down because that takes the tungsten lighting and makes it look like natural lighting. Mm -hmm natural light and then I'll put maybe I'll put afterlight on the side so it has like 
beams of light that aren't actually real <laughs> that makes so your good. pictures look she okay. She is so good. I just learned a lot right now. Yeah, <laughs> I know that was blown. like a flood of information. Uh, so some of us did our own do-it-yourself projects at home uh, before the show. Even Bree. And Bree, you you tried this oh, one. Guys. Here, this one's mine. We'll show that one in a bit. But this one, you tried to copy these cookies. <laughs> This is Guys, amazing. I could not bake. I'm horrid. <laughs> horrible, 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 horrible. I tried like learning how to flood cookies. Not gonna happen. Like, so these are sugar shimmer. She's amazing. Yeah. Look at like if you look down at the quality this of like is some insane. of her. Yeah, her piping skills are wow. insane. Yeah, the detail on these are incredible. Yeah, and then. We, and then, mine. <laughs> but you said your kids said they were tasty. Well, and that's what was so interesting about it, right? Like I got home, like my kids came home from school, they saw the cookies on the counter, and I was feeling a little bit frustrated. I'm like, oh, they didn't, they couldn't look a little bit better than how they Aww. turned out. And they're like, mom, you made cookies, like you made an effort. They're awesome, yes. and they're green. Is it St. Patrick's Day today? And they were so thrilled and so happy, and they tasted good. And I'm like, you know what? That's what it's about. That's all. That's what you it's about. You made the effort. It doesn't <laughs> and matter. And it was fun, right? <laughs> yeah. But hers are amazing. Us. So you should go look at her Instagram because she's fabulous. But do they taste good? We'll yes, find out I after the show. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to give some of those uh, Sugar Shimmer cookies away. Uh, so if you want to tweet us the name of the company that Ooh. made those cookies, we'll give you uh, a free box of cookies. So tweet that to us uh, by the end of the show today too, yeah. at Trending on Shaw. <laughs> Good stuff. And it's Bree, again, who is a blogger for Classically Quirky. It is, uh, the Twitter account is Bree Jean Johnson. Johnson. So mm -hmm. post those um, those three apps that you talked about. Okay. So do I'll do that on Instagram, that. too, since Perfect. I'm, I'm horrible at Twitter. But. Okay. Because okay. <laughs> okay. you know what? We've all attempted. We've all attempted these <laughs> yeah. DIY products, projects, right? And I think we can have a few more examples, including one I think you need to yes. show that when you fail. for myself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> show right. when you fail. <laughs> yeah, show. They're more real. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>